Mr. Pikes? Mr. Pikes? Nod! Ugh, my head. My head hurts. Of course it does. <sighs> you slept for so long and you still reek of booze. How can you tell, Ollie? I never installed any smell receptors. They're called olfactory receptors. And I don't need to smell. I can practically see it. Anyway, you have to pull yourself together and head out. Your night shift at the factory starts in half an hour. Oh, crap! Why didn't you wake me up earlier? By my calculations, 30 minutes is just enough. Just barely enough. You really need some tuning, Ollie. But you're right, I have to get going. Or my boss will never get off my ass. The picture looks kind of blurry and glitchy. It's always been like that. You bought the cheapest data panel on the market. And a used one, too. No, that's not it. I think something's wrong with our Axis power grid. Maybe I should turn the panel off just in case. I remember taking those photos of Irene at our local club. 703 just three years ago. And now look at her, performing on the stage of Supernova. I guess I should be happy for her. Wow, it's yesterday all over again. Still looking around, Mr. Pikes? You really don't have much time. You need to concentrate to do whatever it is you're doing faster. Do you know how to concentrate? Of course I do. Yeah, why would I doubt that? Listen, your brain subconsciously registers points of interest around you. If you concentrate, you can bring them up on one of your vision overlays. Try to imagine them as, I don't know, yellow dots? My good old D12 storage unit. It's empty. And they almost talked me into buying a D24. As the day runs out of light, your hands run after mine. I'm a fan. Irene. Mr. Pikes, do you know what moving on means? You should try it sometime. I did move on. We're good friends now. Neighbors, too. Yes, your ex and her rich husband living right above you. Talk about healthy environment. You should throw this picture away and move someplace else while you're at it. You know, Irene did ask me to get rid of it recently. Someone told Arthur about it, and it made him furious. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <sighs> I knew I should have gotten that screwdriver module for my synthetic arm. But it looks so ugly. <sighs> but it So, Mr. Pikes, any word on that outfitter's license? I'm working on it, Ollie. You know it's expensive. How do you even manage to find clients for weapon enhancements without the permit? <laughs> I'm just that good, I guess. Yeah, and I guess all your clients have special reasons to work with someone who doesn't keep official records. A screwdriver, huh? Second most useful thing after a crowbar. Soul Witness, PHG-12 particle handgun manufactured by Slate Industries. It's almost completely silent, but lacks firepower. And I'm supposed to take care of that. I wanted to be a part of Irene's world. 
but this was the only instrument I've managed to master. Master? I did practice a lot. Oh, I remember that, Mr. Pikes. I think everyone in this building remembers. Wait a second. I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's almost like I'm being guided by some invisible hand. Maybe I should take a closer look at those triangular nodes on the left before leaving. Maybe I should take a closer look at those triangular nodes and Maybe I should The invisible hand never lies. Ugh, I can't even look at that right now. Not the best view in Nova, but at least I can hear Ollie from here. I think that was the last train for today. Nobody knows why demons never attack trains, but don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Thanks to that phenomenon, trains are the only way to move safely between dome cities. Late, huh? Nasty. I heard this demon recently became active in parts around Nova. Just look at him. I could never understand people who go outside domes willingly. All right, then. Off you go. <laughs> Those were good days. The best, probably. Mr. Pikes. I don't like where this is going, but yes. Do you want me to call Novacore? What? Why? Because you've set the security alarm. <laughs> That's why. Why would I do that while I'm home? Beats me. I see nothing here worth taking, including you. But you got drunk and started mumbling about how this Arthur guy from upstairs was after you, so... Ollie, I don't remember the code. Well, you did yesterday. Please let me out. No can do. Security protocol and all that. Come on, Ollie. You know I'm already late for work. Please? Let me think. No. Please disable the alarm first, Mr. Pikes, or I'll have to call the police. Who knows what they'll say about that little outfitting shop you run here. Not much of an assistant, are you? Hey, I am. You can always ask me for advice. I can't tell you the code, but I can help you figure it out. Menial tasks like that help me save some processing power. So let me get this straight. You're using some date from your vacation with the woman who dumped you two years ago as a security code to your apartment? <sighs> Come on, Ollie, it's just a code. Still, there should be four digits. Which month is Jess? I'm an advanced self-aware AI, Mr. Pikes. Consult your calendar for this. So let me get this straight. You're using some date from your vacation with the woman who dumped you two years ago as a security code to your apartment? <sighs> Come on, still, there should- I'm an advanced- Ollie, come on, just tell me the code. 
You know I can't, Mr. Pikes. I'm sure you use something to make your code up. You're not very good at starting from scratch. And I mean that on so many levels. My good old D12s, it's empty. As the your head, I'm a fan. You do realize there are 10,000 possible combinations, Mr. Pikes. This could take a while.